Hi, I'm Tarsila Cruz, and I'm a children's book illustrator. These are some of my books. Big Spreelum, Nagarisco, Percy Peacock, My Little Album of Dublin, and Leonora. I love children's books, and I think maybe you do too. Have you heard about the reimagination competition? Unpost and Children's Books Ireland want you to reimagine your favorite story. All you have to do is draw a scene from a book you love, but insert yourself as a character. Your entry will be judged by some of Ireland's best children's books artists, and you could win a great prize. All you have to do is log on to unpost.com forward slash readers wanted. There are so many stories I would like to reimagine myself into, and today I'm going to show you one of them. This is from my book, Big Spreelum, with author Saif Devlin. It's published by Futa Fata, and it's the story of a little girl called Luna and her mom. Luna wants to play with mom, but mom is always busy. And this is one of the scenes that I want to reimagine myself into. Here, Luna's playing in the garden. She's making something really interesting. Maybe something that is gonna solve her problem. So I want to invite you to join me in learning how to draw yourself making something. Let's get started. You're going to need a sheet of paper, pencil, and eraser. And then you're going to need probably a black marker and some markers if you want to color or whatever materials you have at home. You can use crayons, you can use colored pencils, whatever you have at hand that you feel comfortable using, go for those, okay? So to start with our drawing, uh, we're gonna draw yourself, myself, into the garden. So that's how we're gonna start. And this is just a sketch. So I'm using the pencil first, and then we're going to uh, put over the black marker and erase it. So uh, we're gonna start drawing the head and my head is going to be like a little circle. So this is just the skeleton of the idea. And then you're, I'm going to draw a um, curve from my back. I'm gonna be leaning forward like Luna is in the book. And I'm gonna draw this line under here for my leg. Then I'm going to draw this curve around here because my leg is going to be folded. I'm going to be kneeling on the ground. This is going to be the ground. And my feet are gonna go, this is the, the sole of the foot and a straight down. And this is just a sketch. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can go over the black lines on the top and make them a little bit sharper. So I'm here lying down and this is one of my arms. So a little curve right there is gonna go up and another one on the top for the arm. So basically you can see it's like a person coming down to hold something. And I'm going to be making a curious thing as well out of cardboard because I love playing with cardboard. So I'm going to make my hands. So the hands, I have a little trick to draw hands. I draw a little circle and then I go up one finger like sausages. Two, three, four, and five. I find it much easier to draw like that. But maybe you have your own way of drawing hands. I find it easier to draw the palm as a circle and then put five sausages around them. So now I'm gonna draw the cardboard box and it's going to be a line like this around and down. So it's gonna be just like a, a, a rectangle, square, whatever you want it to be. But you know card box, the cardboard boxes, they have little flaps on them. So I'm going to draw a little line like that and pull it over so it looks like it's the lid of the box. And then I have my other hand, which I'm going to put it on this side and it's going to go over and touch the other side of the box. And I'm going to put my other hand right there. So just the one finger on top of the box. And then I'm gonna go down one, two, three, four. There we go. So it's going to be like holding the top of the box as well. And I'm going to pull a couple of lines here to make the side of the box. And I'm gonna add to that flap on the top as well. Okay. So we have a little box, but that doesn't 
look like me a lot, does it? I don't think so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, a little ear around here. That'll be my ear. I wear a little earring, so I'm gonna put that little earring there. And then I'm gonna draw my face. I'm gonna be looking down into the box. So I'm gonna draw one eye right there and another one right there. And then I'm going to draw my eyes inside, like so, yep. Yeah. And then I'm gonna draw my nose and I like drawing my nose just like a little roundy thingy. And then I'm gonna be smiling, I love smiling, so why not? I'm gonna be smiling, yay. Okay, and then I'm just gonna finish here. And then for a neck, I'm just gonna draw another semicircle underneath it. Cool. Now, I might put the clothes I'm wearing today, right? So let me just add some sleeves there. And I'm gonna put some details here for my arms. Sleeves, putting my other arm there. Okay. And then this is gonna be a little v-neck that I have and a little black top underneath okay and then I have a little belt you guys can't see but that's what I'm wearing and then it has a little line right there and it's trousers and I'm wearing a sandal so I'm just gonna draw some details on the sandal there we go I'm gonna make another foot on the back there we go now, the clothes, then you can put whatever clothes you are wearing or you want. And you see, I have some flowers on my top, so I'm going to draw some flowers there as well. So, pretty flowers. Some swirls, maybe. You can do this if you want in the coloring stage as well. This is just for my reference. I'm missing a hair, right? I'm missing my hair. So, I'm going to put my hair. I have this funky hairstyle today that my hair is a, has a little ponytail and then I have it tucked in. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw the little line there that parts my hair and then I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna stick it in a little up to there. You won't be able to see my ponytail but that's kind of how my hair is going and my eyebrows. So eyebrows are very important to convey ideas and then emotions. And then you can put a little, say, bun there and a little ponytail. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to draw with the black marker on the top just to get the sense of the, um, so you can see it better. So I'm going to color that in for the, the ponytail. I'm gonna add some lines to my hair there. And yeah, I'm going to draw my eyes. I have really dark eyes, so I can really go with the black, it's fine. Yeah, so just going over the lines really and making any sort of adjustments you feel that needs to be done. If you want to change the lines ever so slightly, it's fine because then you will erase the one on the bottom. So that's fine too. And here is the, the hands. And I do that. I'm just drawing over the lines. I'm making some slight adjustments. Yeah. And then we're gonna color and maybe add some details to the surrounding. So here, we're almost finished with those details. Yeah. And remember, take your time doing this because this is going to be your scene in your favorite story. So take your time, whatever way you wanna do it. So here I have the lineup and you can rub it out, all the pencil lines, 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of the garden because otherwise it's just a character. The scene is not there. So to remind you, she's in the garden. So there were a few bits and bobs lying around. So I remember there was like a wheel, maybe from a bicycle was there. I think there was like a screwdriver. Yeah, I think she was holding the screwdriver. If you're creating like a machine, what would you have in hand, you know? Maybe I'll put like a flag. Yeah. Maybe I have some nuts and bolts to add. So I can add to my machine. Yeah, I think that's kind of interesting. Then I'm going to add some grass all around me. Because I want to be in that garden. That was a lovely garden. I'm going to add some fence at the back. So just some fencing here. Okay. Maybe in your garden the fence is different. Remember, this is how you imagine your story. And I'm going to put some little dots there. And I'm going to add a bush at the back. Yeah, some details for the bush. And maybe on this side, let me push this over. Maybe on this side, I'll make a little tree. So, so I'm just going to do it. A little bit like a cloud there and then yeah this is a very small tree it's far far away and i'm going to add more bushes here maybe some flowers flowers on the bushes some grass the flag will be on top of a bush as well. Yeah, and you can add some details on the trees, some leaves on the trees. And voila, you have the little scene from our book, Big Freelum. I hope you enjoy this. And you can take your time to color it in using markers. So you can use, you know, a marker to color, say, the flowers, or you can use watercolor, you can use colored pencils, whatever you have at home. Don't forget to get creative and enter the Unpost Reimagination Competition, supported by Children's Books Ireland. What story will you imagine yourself into? To enter the competition, simply draw a scene from a favorite story, but you insert yourself into it as a character, then use 20 words to tell us why you picked that scene, and you go on to unpost.com forward slash readers wanted for full details on how to submit your entry. I would love to see your drawings, and you can also share them on social media with the help of an adult using the hashtag readers wanted.